Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ashrak Vox, and the title was not clickbait. We have a confirmed character death for Steven Universe. As the bridge between Steven Universe the movie and Steven Universe future becomes stronger. So we're going to break down this off-screen death, piece together how this tragedy makes sense from a narrative standpoint, and how we already may have seen how this will tie into Steven Universe future. Although don't worry guys, it wasn't a major character. But of course, spoiler warning. If you do not want to know anything about the future of Steven Universe, including characters who have already died, click off now. Alright, so one character you may have noticed missing in Steven Universe the movie was none other than Pumpkin, the lovable living fruit brought to life by Steven for Paradigm Lapis in the episode Gem Harvest. Pumpkin quickly became a fan favorite character, even though she never really played a huge role into the story. But she didn't need to. She was just simply one of the cute characters who helped make the world of Steven Universe feel that much more alive, last being cited at the end of Change Your Mind. Now, many fans have speculated that maybe Pumpkin kinda kicked the bucket over the two-year time skip. That if Watermelon Stevens don't have that long of a lifespan, then certainly Pumpkin would neither. And well, this past weekend there was a special screening for Steven Universe the movie, as a part of Variety's Animation is Film Festival, which was followed up by Q&A. Of course a fan asked what happened to Pumpkin. I mean, if Cat Steven made an appearance in the movie, you think they could have squeezed Pumpkin in somewhere, either hanging out near the beach house, or with Paradot Lavis and Bismuth in Little Homeworld, or later near the Injector, or even at the end with the group barbecue, much like Change Your Mind. Well, longtime member of the crew universe Joe Johnston answered with, Pumpkins don't last forever, but she lasted longer than what a normal pumpkin would have anyways. So let's just take a moment of silence to honor our fallen pumpkin hero. Now this does actually add up with what our friend Leia over at Toon Ruins heard, as when we were all standing in line at New York Comic Con, where she was able to engage with a fellow Steveverse fan who also was a viewer of her videos, informing that when they asked Rebecca about Pumpkin, Sugar simply said, well, the Wildman Stevens have gone through a lot of different generations, so Pumpkin… And then she didn't finish the answer. And this is true, and this does make a lot of sense. The Watermelon Stevens, as we've seen through the episode Watermelon Steven, Super Watermelon Island, and Escapism, are naturally very durable and much smarter than the average watermelon on the account of being sentient, and as we saw on Super Watermelon Island, they're able to create more of themselves independent of Steven, but as revealed through the end of Escapism, it doesn't take much for one of these watermelons to pass away. Although that particular watermelon that Steven was possessing lost a few limbs and had to go against direct sunlight. Magic properties of a diamond cannot keep fruit immortal. So when applying this to Pumpkin, who seemed to sport much less abilities than a Watermelon Steven, it makes sense that over the course of a two year time skip, she wouldn't make it. And of course this would be an important lesson for Paradot and Lapis. You see, Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Bismuth, they've already gone through and have been impacted by death in the past. With any Crystal Gems who were lost and shattered in the war, and with Rose Quartz giving up her being to bring Steven into the world. They understand that not all life is infinite, some life is finite, and they have to make the most of the time they have with organic beings. Even Lion and Lars aren't technically immortal, as it's been clarified by Kruniverse in the past, they're just aging very, very slowly. So they'll live for a long time, longer than Lars will want to live, but they also have their own eventual expiration date. But now let's shift gears into how this will impact Steven Universe's future, how this off-screen death will actually be explored with greater ramifications. And it all comes back to Cactus Steven, the multi-headed sentient cactus in the shot of antagonist, featured very briefly in the opening theme song. It's already been hammered in through the press release that Steven Universe future will Looks for Steven trying to solve everyone else's problems to avoid confronting his own. He's going to try to tackle every conceivable loose end. Thus we bring in Peridot and Lapis. Although they're happy with the progress they made with Little Homeworld and their cemented new lives on Earth, finally having no doubts, no reason to leave, they're still a little bit bummed about Pumpkin. There's a pumpkin-shaped hole in their gemstones where love used to be. 
So instead of letting them process their grief naturally, Steven may decide, if they miss their old pet, I can just bring to life a new one. Now how Steven would decide on a cactus, I'm not really sure yet. Maybe he mistakes a cactus seed for a pumpkin seed. Either way, Steven would be in the mindset of, imbuing sentience into plants and fruit is my specialty. So I'll just do a quick lick on a seed and bada bing bada boom, Peridot and Lapis have a brand new pet. But considering this cactus was with all the antagonists, we can assume things do not go over smoothly. And Steven's attempt to make things better to help Peridot and Lapis with their grief will backfire horribly as instead, he's brought to life a brand new enemy. And while well, yeah, I don't think Cactus Steven would rain too much havoc, it could still ultimately end with what I speculated before. Steven and the Crystal Gems having to put down this cactus. Steven being unable to save something he created. And perhaps this could be a consistent pattern in future. Steven constantly trying to help, constantly trying to make things better, but it only blows up in his face. But honestly, nah, that's way too depressing. Even if this cactus doesn't end well, we all know Steven Universe Future is going to have a relatively happy ending, so this series can probably avoid a Gynax ending. But as for Cactus Steven himself, once again mentioning our friend Leia from Two Ruins, she speculated not only could Pumpkin be the catalyst to Cactus Steven, something we're clearly on board with now, but that this would just be an important moral to teach and animation, something we don't really see portrayed in television all too often, how to deal with the death of a pet, and moving on from it. And you know what? Just thinking about that already brings a tear to my eye. But I'm sure whatever the universe does, it's gonna make me cry even more. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I wanna hear yours. What do you think? Could the death of Pumpkin bring the birth of Cactus Steven? Why or why not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at AustrakVox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Fox, signing out. Oh, oh, oh.